Good morning, my loving Tiffany Thinks family. Um, oops, someone's looking hot. Sorry, the nurses just quickly came in. I've got breakfast, so um, I'll show you what I'm having for breakfast. I didn't sleep the best last night. I think I'm just so ready to go home because today's Sunday. So I think, yeah, I just want to go home and I just need to kind of, like, I need to go home. I feel like, you know, when... I feel fine, you know, I need to get home. Even if I'm bleeding at home, it's fine. They asked to see the blood, like, um, to see what it was like overnight. So, like, I've given it to the nurse. Um, I know that might be TMI or, like, I don't know if it's too much that I'm telling you, but it's just what's going on. So, I just, I feel like nothing on this channel is TMI, right? Like, you've seen me go through everything at this point. Amma is here. Hello, Amma. Oh, she's wearing the We Got This. Amma, you don't need to wear it all the time. <laughs> it's, it's a bit today, Amma. No, I didn't sleep the best, but I'm going to eat. Did you sleep okay? Let me put my glasses on. Let me put my glasses on. Yeah, I feel like um, it's good that Amma went home. Yeah, I'm glad that Amma got to go home because sleeping at home is the best. No one wants to sleep in the hospital, right? So I'll show you what I'm going to have for breakfast. Amma, did you have breakfast? You can have... I'm going to do some porridge downstairs. Oh, Amma's going to go and buy some porridge downstairs. She loves the porridge that you get from the hospital. She always goes to the canteen and she gets the porridge. Apparently it's really nice. Amma, why don't you bring it here and then we have breakfast oh, together? Right, yeah. yeah, we can have breakfast together. Bring the breakfast here, we'll have it together, Mama. Ta-da! So this is for breakfast. I've got hash browns, some eggs, some toast, some butter and jam, a cup of tea, orange juice, a lot happening here. I'm going to try and eat as much as possible because I need to put on weight. <laughs> they measured my weight yesterday and it looks like I've lost weight being here, so I need to kind of eat a lot and go back on those milkshakes. I need to drink those milk cheese. Hi, thank you so much. Oh thank you. You managed it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's fine. Just picking at it. Oh, good, <laughs> thank you. Okay, Thanks. Nice. She's so lovely. Um, yeah, no, I need to start drinking. I need to drink those milkshakes when I get home. Mmm. It needs salt. <laughs> it does need salt. You know, food at the hospital, it's not... There's no flavour, and I'm okay with that, like I'm okay with it, but because I have salt, at least I have salt. <laughs> I'm looking forward to this cup of tea. I don't really have um, coffee at the hospital because I should ask for a coffee, I should try it out and see how it tastes, but hopefully I get to go home, so if they let me go home, I'm probably going to get a nice coffee from Gail's. Ooh, that's a plan, isn't it? I, I haven't had a coffee at all since being here, so maybe I can treat myself to Gail's. Mmm, that's good with some salt. Have a hash brown. Cheers. I've put the TV on. I'll watch, like, The Chase or something because Amma will like that. Yeah, I told Amma don't come too early. So she didn't come really, really early. But she's still here in the morning. <laughs> I think, you know what? I think with Amma, she just needs to know that I'm okay. And even though I told her, Amma, don't worry, you don't need to rush here. She still wants to be here, which is fine. I, I always say with this cancer journey, right? It's not about me. It's not just about me. Um, so however Amma wants to deal with this, she can do it, you know? I'm not gonna say, no, don't come. I'm like, whatever makes her happy, she's allowed to do it. If it means she comes in wearing the We Got This t-shirt, she can. If she doesn't wanna wear it, she doesn't need to. But every time she comes in, she's got the We Got This t-shirt on and it just melts my heart because she's so, so, so cute. She doesn't, she doesn't need to do like anything. Like she doesn't have to be here. She doesn't have to drive here. Every time I pick up the camera and then someone walks in, I panic and then I put the camera down. So I'm just going to enjoy my breakfast and um, I'll pick up my camera in a little bit. I'm waiting for the doctors to do their rounds. Um, so I'm hoping they let me out today because I just feel like I am ready. Like the pain is okay. I'm not on any morphine anymore. So that's good. Morphine has stopped. 
just taking paracetamol. The bleeding I can control, like of course, like with the changing of the pads, I can do that at home. So I just want the doctors to come around to see me and for them to say, yes, Tiffany, you're okay to go home. They did take blood tests and they've checked everything and everything seems okay. So send me home, I'm ready to go home. I told Matt, like I said to him, don't come up here because um, if they send me home, there's no point him coming up here, isn't it? It's like, it's a waste of time. I'd rather him stay at home and like, cook me a nice dinner or something, you know, like something really like, I, I just told him I'll update him um, as soon as the doctor gets here because it's a Sunday. Like, I don't want him to have to drive into London and find parking and come to the hospital. Like, it's okay, I have Amma and Amma's just gone down to get herself a cup of tea. Um, I think she's just going for a little walk. I don't go with her because I don't want to leave the room and then the doctor comes. Imagine the doctor comes and I'm not here, so I need to kind of just wait, stay here until the doctor gets here. And I'm not gonna lie, I am really scared about the walking situation because I know walking is gonna be a little bit difficult, but I need to walk, I need to kind of build up my body again. Blood test has been taken and the cannula's been removed from my arm. The doctor said I can go home, but they need to check my haemoglobin levels again because it has dropped, so they need to make sure it hasn't dropped anymore. So they took another set of blood test. They took another blood test, so we won't get results for another three, four hours, and then I need a discharge letter as well. Um, and also, I need to sort out the port. You guys know I have a port, right? The nurse just told me, like, why are we not accessing your port? And I'm like, I don't know. I'm like, I'm not sure why we're not using the port. You guys know on this arm here, can you see that little bump? Yeah, so I have a port there. And I've had the port, you know, for chemotherapy and stuff. I used to have the pick line, but I just have a port now. So I need to make sure it's working. Need to go and sort that out as well. Um, I have an appointment next week anyway, so I'll figure out the port situation then. Waiting for blood test results, but I said to Amma, you know what, I'm going to get changed out of my, like, hospital nighty gown. I'm going to get changed because I want to manifest leaving this hospital. So let's get changed into my We Got This outfit and got to go for a walk as well because I haven't left this room and I should be walking around. So I just want to see if my legs are okay. Um, so I'm going to go walk around with Amma. I was, I was getting ready, like I was going to get ready. And then the father, the priest came in and we said a little prayer. And all day Amma kept saying, oh, it's Sunday. We need to go to church. We haven't gone to church. And I kept saying, oh, I don't know how we'd be able to go. And like, he just comes in and we were just like, what? It's like, how did you know? How did you know? So it was nice. The priest came and we did a prayer and um, yeah, it was just nice. So I'm going to get ready now. I'm going to get, get ready. Ta-da! I'm all changed. We got this. We got this. We do. We really, really do. We do. We do. We really, really do. <laughs> Hopefully the blood test comes back as fine. Like, you know, I really hope it's okay for me to leave. I really hope, like, it's okay. Like, the blood test comes back and I can go home. I've got a few hours here. I'm going to go for a walk because it looks like a lovely day outside. It looks beautiful outside. The sun's out. And I know it's going to be very cold, so I've got the... Well, you got this hoodie with me. You know, the one I came in with. Um, so if it's really, really cold, I can put the hoodie on top of the sweatshirt. Hello! I'm, uh, I can't... I feel like I'm eating all the time. I feel like I'm constantly eating. Look out there. Does anyone know? Like, you know that castle? Let me zoom in. Like, I keep seeing this castle outside of the window. Like, what is it? Like, what castle is this? If anyone lives around this area or knows London very well, like, what is this? It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of food. I'll have a chip. Mmm, yummy. I've got the TV on. Do you know what this show is? Love it. Absolutely love it. Honestly, I love this show. I've loved it for a very long time. <laughs> Today I asked for a cheese and mozz mozzarella cheese with basil and tomato and I just put ketchup on it. Mm. This is nice, I, I like a panini, you can't go wrong with a panini. 
I'm leaving the room with Amma. I'm going to go for a little walk just in the ward. So just here, I'm just going to go for a little walk. Let's go out. Oh, look how cute. I still don't get how I'm in the private care area. I think they must have not had enough beds in the NHS area. Yeah, the lift's not working, so I'm just going to walk around here. What little decorations, I love this. This is my favorite, of course, the angel. I also like the little Christmas tree, the little ball, I like it all. I like it all. Look, little snowman. Little snowman. I'm back in the room. I asked the nurse if she's got my blood test results, so they're chasing that up. Because I feel fine, like I'm okay. I've walked, I feel fine. I just spoke to Matt and I said, Matt, don't come here because it will be a waste of the journey if I'm coming home. Um, but I need to know the results before I can tell him what the next steps are. I've got my clothes on, so I, your girl is ready to go home. Bad news, I'm staying here in the hospital and honestly it really does oh, annoy me because I was ready to go and it's okay. They basically, in my blood test, the results, the haemoglobin, obviously because I've lost a lot of blood, is low. So tomorrow morning they're going to give me a um, iron infusion. So I'm staying here for another night. A little bit annoying because I told Matt like I'm coming home and he was making dinner and stuff but I called him and he said you know what darling this is way more important and it, it is but it's just you know when I was saying like expectations have low expectations it's fine it's another day it's another not even a whole day it's just one sleep um, it's just one sleep and then I get to go home and also, you know what, like, I feel really bad because Matt, like, changed the bedding on the bed and he was, like, getting the house all ready for me. And it's okay, it is okay, because I know tomorrow I will be at home. It's just, you know, when you were expecting to go home. It's okay. I'm going to get my pyjamas on. Um, I've got, I'm not going to wear the nighty. I'm just going to wear my pyjamas because I always feel better when I wear my own pyjamas. Sorry, the nurse came in. You know what, I'm so lucky because um, the nurses here are amazing and... I'm just going to go talk to them all night, you know, so it'll be fine. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the camera away today because I'm just going to kind of have a day without the camera, just have a kind of relaxing evening and then I'll pick up the camera again tomorrow. Good morning, my loving Tiffany Finks family. It's the next day. I decided to wear my friend's t-shirt to bed. Um, so, you know what, I was thinking about this last night. It is good that I stayed here because they need to get my body ready for surgery, right? Am I in focus? Yeah. They need to get my body ready for surgery. And if my iron levels are low, then it's good that they're keeping me here for an iron infusion. So, yeah. But I'm hoping today I get to go home. If I don't, it's fine. It's okay. Because they need to... They're obviously looking out for me and they'll only send me home when I'm ready. I think yesterday I got way too excited to go home. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to get out of bed and get ready for the day. I think my surgeon's coming to see me early morning. Well, I think 8.30 he's going to be here. So let me get ready. And I think they'll bring breakfast in as well. So let's get out of bed and brush my teeth and get ready for the day. Good morning, darling. Hello, darling. How are ya? I'm okay. What happened, darling? Sorry, darling. I just went to brush my teeth. Darling, it's good. They find it when you think about it. Yes, for sure. Um, is that because you're bleeding you're losing iron? Yeah, something? yeah. You know when you bleed, isn't it? Infusion just means it's like... Yeah, it's better. Obviously, better, but. isn't it? Amma is here. Ta-da! Uh -huh. um, yeah, I'm all ready. Like, I've had a shower, brushed my teeth, put on some cream, and I feel really refreshed. 
the one thing, you know how they put me in a private room? Not sure why, I think there wasn't enough beds in the NHS section, so they put me in a private room. In the bathroom, like, area, they give you, like, little toiletries, and they're good. They're, like, fancy, fancy toiletries, you know? <laughs> so I'm, like, using everything. <laughs> It smells really nice as well um, and then they keep like topping it up so every day I'm just like <laughs> waiting on breakfast Amma's having a cup of tea Amma why don't you go get porridge waiting on the doctor to I think prescribe the iron infusion or I think it was prescribed last night so that situation will happen today I think where I'm losing a lot of blood out of my bottom and I have been for a long time I was talking to Matt about this this morning and I was saying you know what it's the best thing to have this done now um, so there's no complication with blood loss later on. You know, with surgery and everything. I feel like this is all I'm talking about, but I think once I get home, I won't be talking about all of this as much, you know. I want to talk about Christmas, I want to talk about wrapping presents, I need to get on that before... Because you guys know I bought Christmas presents ages ago. Um, so I'm going to start wrapping it up, dropping things off at people's houses. Um, and then, at least I feel like even if I'm not there for Christmas, everyone will be able to like open my gift on that day, which will be nice, you know? I feel like I still need to get a few more presents and if I'm not able to, then I'll do it when I come back from hospital. It's not a pri like no one, I know all my loved ones, no one is expecting anything from me, but it's just something I wanna do. And I also wanna get some gifts for, um, you know, last year, I don't know if you watched my Vlogmas last year, I did a hamper for the nurses at the hospital um, at the, like, you know where I had the chemo, the medical day in it, I want to get a hamper and a radiotherapy, I want to do like a chocolate hamper, hot chocolate, like, I want to do little hampers, so I need to, I need to do that as well. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do about Vlogmas, I really don't know, like, it just depends on the surgery date, um, so yeah, let's not worry about Vlogmas now. If you want, you can go back and watch last year's Vlogmas, if you want. But we'll figure it out, we'll figure it out. Don't need to think about that now. I asked for eggs. I asked for like a big breakfast today. <laughs> Yummy, yeah, that'd be good. I'm gonna eat everything because your girl needs to put on weight. Okay, breakfast was delicious. I ate quite a lot. I'm having a biscuit now with my tea. Hold on, let me put the biscuit in my mouth. Okay, I'm gonna crouch down to talk to you because I wanna show you, out of everything I've had in this hospital this time, this is the most yummiest, yeah, this is the most yummiest biscuit. It's a Belgian chocolate biscuit. This and a cup of tea. Mm -mm -mm. I think someone's coming. Honestly, this biscuit and a cup of tea or a coffee, delicious. Oh, I don't, I don't know where I can buy this. It's called Walker's Chunky Belgian Chocolate Biscuits. I never bake biscuits, like I can do cakes, but I never do biscuits. I don't know why. Biscuits must be easy, right, to bake. Tea with Tiffany thinks is on like a break right now because of everything that's going on. I just, I feel like Tea with Tiffany thinks is on a break, but I think after surgery, will be back. Good thing about being in hospital is that I have breakfast at 8 o'clock, like 8, 8.30, and then lunch at 12, and then dinner at 5, and then I get hungry again around 9. So I need to kind of have that routine at home because then it means I'll have like four meals, including snacks in between, like biscuits and tea. Um, so I need to wake up earlier. Bullet journal time. Got to plan out the next few days, I guess. Can't plan too far ahead, but I can't plan too far ahead. Rest your arm yeah, there, thank, you. <laughs> thank you. Okay, let me take they have accessed the port after such a long time. Like after such a long time, they've accessed it. I think it's just good because they're taking bloods and they keep like using all the other like parts of my body. I think the port is the best option. So I said, use the port, flush it out, make sure it's working. So they've tried it and it's working all well. So we're gonna have the iron infusion through here. She's also taken a blood test again to check the tumor markers. Um, the tumor markers have gone up, 
which is annoying, but we'll just keep checking it anyways. Um, which the doctor requested, it's not just me saying, oh, can I check the tumour markers? The doctor requested, and I always write it down in my bullet journal, right? I told you guys, in my bullet journal, I always write down my um, CEA markers and CA19. Oh, I think the doctor's here. Sorry, the doctor's just came in, so I've got more appointments coming up. So I've got another appointment with the surgeon, another appointment with the gynaecologist. I think it's just a face-to-face -to, -face to finalize everything. And then soon I'll get the date. I just need the date for the surgery because then I can prepare for things, right? So I just need a date and then we're good to go. Waiting on the iron infusion now and then I get to go home. <laughs> I'm honestly going to miss all the nurses and healthcare assistants, honestly incredible, incredible people. I still like, I'm so overwhelmed with their kindness and how much they do for us. Like honestly thank you to all the nurses and I saw all your comments, all you nurses commenting and I'm honestly so, I appreciate everything you do. We wouldn't be this strong without you nurses, I feel like nurses, healthcare assistants, doctors, all of you, like thank you for looking after me and looking after everyone in the hospital. You guys are incredible. <laughs> what did you buy? What's in your bag? Oh, tuna sandwich. Ooh, coconut water. Yeah. yeah. I love coconut water. Only porridge. Yummy. Oh, that's cool. Nice. <laughs> love coconut water. I'll have some of this now. You know what I, I can't wait to go home for, Emma? Your yeah. carrot and orange and turmeric and ginger and juice. Mm, and rice and curry. Mm. <laughs> okay, let's have some coconut water. Cheers. Don't ask me what I'm watching on TV. It's the old um, supermarket sweep, like the old ones. I love it. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers, Emma. Cheers. I hope you're drinking water. Yummy, yummy, yummy. It's raining outside, Emma. Yeah. Cold. Outside, cold. Let me know if you feel anything. Yeah. I'm having the iron infusion go through now through my port, so I'm happy about that. Um, it shouldn't take too long, and then after this, they'll check and see if I'm okay, and then I get to go home. I don't know why my hand's up, I can put it down, I can put it down. I think it's because, I don't know, I, I can put it down, so yeah. Once this is done, I think I've got another 28 minutes, then we can start packing up, get ready to go home. The girl's going home today. <laughs> you know that sound? I don't know if you can hear it. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. Hold on. Yeah, so that sound reminds me of the chemo days. When I was, whenever I used to have chemo, that was the noise I'd hear in the room. And it wasn't just my machine, it was the other people in the room as well. Oh my goodness, not a good um, time at all, but I got through it, you know? So I know I could think, oh my gosh, I went through chemo, but I'm gonna like twist it and make myself think like, wow, Tiff, you went through chemo, like, and you got through every session. It was hard, but I got through it. So yeah, it's crazy, 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 crazy. Leaving now, I can finally go. I've got the We Got This jumper on and I'm ready to go. Definitely ready to go today. Bye bye room. We're going, we're going home. We're going home, we're going home. Bye bye. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm gonna go through the side entrance because um, that's where the car is parked up. I'm gonna walk the car over. So yeah, I feel fine to walk. I think, yeah, I'm, I'm okay to walk. Yeah. Do you know what? I think it was good that I stayed because I'm not like, I feel like I'm better. Like I feel like if I was at home, um, I might have taken longer to recover. So everything happens for a reason. I'm out. I'm out of the hospital. Fresh air. <laughs> it's actually very cold. I'm going to get into the car. Coconut water. I'm 
Come on, let's go home. Let's go home. Let's go home. We'll put the heating on. I'm home. I'm gonna run upstairs and get in. I'm gonna have a shower and get changed into my cozy clothes. Oh, look, the twinkly lights. I think Matt's put the twinkly lights on here. Yes, let's put that on. Yes, <laughs> that looks so good, right? He's put the battery in. But yeah, let me go have a shower, get all cozy in my pyjamas, and then we'll catch up after. It feels great to be home. I'm all clean, so what I did is I had a shower and then I put all, you know, my hospital clothes. Um, I just put that all in the washing machine. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a little nap and then I can wake up and put the clothes in the dryer and then Matt should be home from work. So I'm just gonna have a little snooze. I just feel really tired all of a sudden. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's all, the medication's all wearing off and you know, I just had an iron infusion. So yeah, I'm gonna have a little snooze. Actually, I'm gonna go downstairs and snooze on the sofa, like put a Christmas movie on. I thought I could do that in bed, but I've been in bed this whole time, you know? So let me go snooze on the sofa. <laughs> Let's go downstairs. I had a really nice snooze on the sofa, and um, what time is it now? It's nearly half five, so Matt will be finished work in about half an hour. Um, yeah, I want to sleep a little bit more. I want to sleep for another ten minutes and then make a cup of tea. Hello. Hi. Yay. Hey, darling. Okay, no darling, I'm home. I thought you'd be cuddled on the sofa. I was. I was sneezing. Ha! <laughs> 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 Don't pick me up, oh, darling. Be careful. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> oh, what's all that music? Mm. Oh, I'll put my jewellery back on. I can put all my jewellery back on. What do you think of the house? It's nice and clean. The house is spotless, darling. Thank you so much. I hope you all don't mind, but I'm going to end the video here so I can spend some time with Amma and with Matt. I hope you all understand. I just want to turn the camera off and just be with them. Thank you all so much for watching and for being here and for leaving me the sweetest comments. I've read most of your comments. I'm still going through it. And honestly, thank you so much for helping me through a rough time. I hope you're all okay and I love you all a lot, a lot, a lot. Thank you for watching. Bye. My Instagram, Facebook and TikTok is Tiffany Thinks. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Bye.